Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trim the Apache easily because I'm not going to lie, I do find flying the Apache very, very simple. And I'll show you uh, how I do it. It's probably not the correct way to do it. I'm not an Apache pilot, but I do fly in DCS and I know how it works for me in DCS. So hopefully this video is going to help you trim out like an absolute champion and hold it steady so that your friend or George can destroy targets. So let's get cracking. Now when I'm flying the Apache there's a few things that I need to pay attention to so that I can trim out uh, and fly it effectively. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the little cross there right in the centre of the IHADS. To the left where we see our speed currently 85 knots and then to the right where we see our altitude uh, 1030 feet and I keep a close eye on the engine torque up on the top left there. Now when you're flying along at straight and level what you want to do is position that cross here right in the middle of the uh, that sort of dashed horizon line and that's going to keep you flying steady and level. Now on the right hand side you can see a little arrow next to the height that tells you if you're obviously if you're going up or if you're going down so if you maintain that arrow in the middle and you maintain your cross here on the line and then it'll maintain that height, that speed, as you fly forward, trim to that set. Now, I continually trim. Now, when I say continually, I mean every time I make an adjustment, I trim the aircraft. So, it, obviously, it trims the rudder pedals and it trims the cyclic as well. So, once I'm happy that I'm trimmed up, now, I fly with the default settings that the module came with. I use uh, a Thrustmaster Warthog and I've got T-Flight 100 pedals or T-Flight pedals. They're not very good rudder pedals I have. Now, because I trim, I need to recenter my pedals as soon as I trim. So as soon as I trim up, when I release that trim button, I need to move my feet back at the same time and then basically zero all my controls. Now there are settings in the uh, AH64D special settings you can adjust. So it, there's a little delay between it actually resetting those controls for you. So you don't get a little nose wobble like I do. But when I trim the aircraft, I position that crosshair where I want to go. Now, if it's above that dashed horizon line, it means I'm going to be slowing down. So if I want to slow down, I'll put the crosshair above, press trim, and that'll trim the nose in a higher up attitude. If I want to speed up, I put it below, and then I trim again. Now, you'll see later on the video, you can hold that as you uh, fly and orbit around. You can trim it so it's in an orbit, and you control that height with the collective. So I want to slow down, I'm going to bring the nose above that horizon line and I'm going to trim. That's going to start to slow me down, nose up again, so I'm pulling back in the stick and trimming there. And we're descending slowly towards the area, if I want to arrest the descent I need to add power with the collective, but I also need to then add left pedal, because as you add power, the nose wants to yaw around to the right. So I'm going to fly towards this area and just descend down into it. Now you can do it a lot faster than I'm doing now, but I'm trying to do it nice and slow for demonstration purposes. So nose down, trim, let's get a little bit faster now. Now I'm going to drop the collective, but bring the nose up. And that will slow my rate of descent. And if I want to control this rate of descent now, I'm just going to hold my nose slightly above the horizon and trim there and passing through 45 knots, slowing down still. I'm watching that rate of descent, 300, 300 feet now. Watch the nose go down. I'm adding collective there and I'm beginning to level my nose out because I'm getting ready to come into my hover. So I'm going to put nose down onto the horizon, add power. Trimmer there. We're still moving forward at 15 knots. So I'm now watching on the right hand side. Just keeping that arrow centered at 50 feet. We're almost there, six knots, five knots, four knots. It's feeling comfortable here, so trim. Slight right motion there, so trim again. And then we just hold, you can switch the hover mode and try and obviously keep that circle centered. But I prefer flying in this mode. It's just the way I prefer it. So then all I'm doing now is adjusting with my collective to try and maintain about 50 feet there in the hover then I'm just continually adjusting the cyclic and then when it's comfortable again if I feel it's a better position than it was earlier trim 
Now the trim system can be used for a load of, load of cool things, so if you wanted to trim at low level and fly along, you can do it easily. But if you wanted to orbit around the target, you just position the aircraft in the angle that you want, and then you control that climb or descent with the collective. So if I trim there, it'll get above those trees. My aircraft will hold in this sort of slightly left angle of bank. Let me bank it even further, trim again. Now what I'm working on here, let me turn and trim. What we're working on here is the collective to control our altitude. So we'll maintain this left hand orbit, but as we turn, we need to add a little bit of power, take off a little bit of power, add a little bit of power, take off a little bit of power. So you can see here the controls, I'm not moving anything except my collective and that's just going very slight increments up and down. The pedals are trimmed, the cyclic is trimmed and I'm maintaining 200 feet and I'm just doing an orbit. So if you just want to orbit around somewhere obviously you can put a bigger angle of bank on the, the aircraft if you want. If you just want to orbit, stick it in the angle, press the trim up button and away you go. Easy peasy. Right, let's go down into a hover. We'll go beyond those trees. So nose down, trim there. Watch the wire, so pull up, hold it and trim again. Nose down, trim. I'll we'll go behind the trees and then we'll show that what I'm talking about when you add power or take away power. Right, so drop the collective but pull the nose back into the right. Let's get in behind these trees. And add power so we don't sink too much. Right then, so we're at fairly unstable. I've got massive control inputs on the stick, so trim. Back I go. Nice comfortable position. And trim again. Now I'm holding here at 12 feet. I'm moving slightly backwards. Let me correct that. So we're holding here about 13 feet. Now if I add collective, you see the nose sways off there. If I take away collective, the nose swings to the left. So when you add power, the nose swings right. When you take away power, the nose swings left. But I recommend for practicing with the Apache is find areas like this where you've got little trees or little areas that you can just practice getting in a stable sort of position like I am now. I'm roughly stable. Trim. Now it's just a case of little micro adjustments on my controls. I'm, I'm hardly moving my uh, my stick and collective here to just maintain in this area. Obviously head tracking helps a lot if you have it because you can look out and see how far things are away and the relative motion of things towards you. But again it allows you, once you're comfortable practicing in places like this, to speed up, slow down and get into hiding positions to bob up and attack. I don't know if I can fit behind those trees there. Is there a gap? No. But again, once you are trimmed in a position that's comfortable, the rest of it is fairly easy to maintain. So trim there, roll out, trim. Come on down, dive in. And recover with your controls, happy there, trimmed. Down in between the trees and around, in fact, let's go in between those. And once you're trimmed, you can fly in. I mean, I wouldn't recommend flying through small space like that. It's unnecessary for combat. It's just risky. But you can trim it continually. That's that's how I trim in the Apache to keep it flying stable. I get the little arrow here on our climb and descent. I line them across with horizon. Once I'm happy, trim. If I want to hold an orbit. I'm just going to move it, hit trim, and then let the aircraft do the work. If I wanted to go the other way, right pedal, 
Right side click. Trim. There you go. Easy peasy in the Apache. Of course, um, this, like I said, will not be the official way to do it because I'm not an Apache pilot. Uh, I do know an Apache pilot and he's a, a very good friend of mine. Um, but yeah, I trim constantly. I'm not sure if he does or not. I'll have to ask him, but yeah. I'm continually trimming the Apache and it works for me. It might work for you, it might not, but I know a lot of people have trouble with it. Why is it going to save? Get off it, gunner! Take it away, my fun. Yeah, Apache, trim. I don't find it difficult because I continually trim, 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 trim until it feels comfortable where I am. Give it a try. Uh, let me know how you get on in the comments below. And if you have a different way of doing it, a better way of doing it. I know there's other people that have got videos out there. Uh, but mine is basically keep pressing that trim button when you're happy. When you're flying in, a, in an attitude that you want to do, hit trim. Return the controls to centre. Right now I've got no hands on the controls. My collective is, I'm claiming, so adjust your collective. And you can fly the Apache. You can fly the Apache, rather. Uh, hands off throttle and stick or hands off collective and cyclic really because you are happy with your trim settings and you can fly fast you can fly slow and all you need to do is trim easy thank you very much for watching until next time tactical pascal out